Hey guys, you remember a little while back I made the diddly spoon? Well, now it's time for the diddly fork. So, you're thinking, what the heck is that? Well, this was a pitchfork that snapped. So, um, my wife and I were doing some work in the yard. We had to pry out some old bricks. Had to use a sledgehammer and then pry them apart. And I was doing so and I snapped the pitchfork. And so... I just kind of threw it off to the side, and then after we were done, by the way, I am so sore today, but uh, after we were done, I looked at the handle and I thought, hey, I could probably make something out of that. So you can see what I did here. Took the handle, I kind of notched out a spot for a tuner. I used a base tuner right there. There you go. And that wasn't an accident getting it off center like that. I did that, I did that on purpose to try to keep the wind closer you know to the middle where the str string comes through it i don't know how well it worked but it was an idea anyway um so i got a base tuner i made a little groove here with a file to drop a, a bolt and nut in there to work as a nut uh, it's got a single bass string on it this is a g string off of a standard set of bass strings uh, down to the handle here and uh, i just drilled that string through so it's just literally using the handle as a bridge and like a wrap tail basically and then I put a piezo right there hot glued it in place and ran the wires around and I tried to hot glue the wires in place and it's starting to get really sloppy so I just decided to wrap it with electrical tape so that's what you see here and then I did the same technique I did on the um, on the goof off canjo I just used one of those little L brackets and mounted the jack right there here's the jack so that's about the size of it <clears throat> it's a one stringer what's interesting though is it just so turned out that from here to where i have the nut is exactly 23 inches um stupid luck so um i used a 23 inch fretting scale so i was able to mark all of the frets on there so i've got fret lines um but hey it's a little diddly that i made so uh let's see what this thing sounds like i just finished it so let's try it okay so here we are in the workshop we got the diddly fork we've got it plugged into my tiny jar of fuzz and then into my cigar box amp which are just behind the camera here i've got a socket here that i'm using for a slide it's kind of unbalanced but it'll work and then i got a guitar pick here so let's uh, turn on the amp oh yeah diddly forking it all right so let's uh let's see what we can do here Hey man, just forking around. As long as we're out in the workshop here, let me show you a little sneak peek of my next project. So you see this Muslati box, right? Well, I don't know if you guys follow Shane Spiel, but if you do, he did, he made one of these Muslati um, headless guitars a little while back, and man, it was super cool. And so I went out there and looked, and they sell all kinds of kits. They sell like a Les Paul kit and a Telecaster kit and whatnot. So I got this one. So here you go, here's all the parts. It just basically includes everything you need. You got all the electronics and hardware over here. Got a neck and a body and you gotta put it together yourself. So um, I'll be doing this eventually. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I'll do something fun. So that's coming, just a little sneak peek. Talk to you next time.